guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're here, you want to see how to be a vampire or you want to see this fall tutorial or you just want to check out my Mystical Creatures collab, it's okay. This is a vampire look. I went for like a very dark vampy look with the crimson eyes and the lips and of course the vings. You can't forget the vings and my horrible lisp. I did use a shade of foundation lighter than what I normally would so I'm a little bit more pale than I usually am but I think it turned out very well and I hope you guys enjoy this video and if so let's continue on watching into the video again this collaboration is with all the amazing girls that I've clubbed with in the past it's the same ones so be sure to check out their stuff as well I'm gonna leave descriptions down below for you guys so if you want to see how to achieve being a vampire let's continue on into this video Video. This is like so hard to talk. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. Alright, to get started on this look, and yes, I'm gonna do it with my teeth in. Alright, so to get started with this look, I'm gonna be taking the Morphe E30. This is just a more a little bit more dense blending brush. And I'm going to be taking warm taupe and I'm going to be laying that into my crease. These teeth kind of give you a lisp. And then I'm just going to take this Fisati contour eye shadow brush. And I'm just going to dip into tempera and just do my brow highlight real quick. Now that we have that laid down, I'm going to be mixing a couple colors. I'm going to be taking Red Orchard and Love Letter first and set that down onto my lid. And I'm going to be taking my MAC 217 brush. And then I'm going to do a third shade as well. I'm going to dip into these two again. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of Cypress Umbrus and then dip back into those two. So that there's just a little bit of more darkness to this look. So we're just going to lay that back on top. And then I'm going to lightly bring that into the crease and drag that all the way over. And then we're going to go back to the Morphe E30 and just blend that out a little more. So now that looks nice and dark, I'm going to go ahead and add the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Gel Eyeliner. And I'm just going to be tight lining. So I'm going to stick that underneath. And I'm just going to very lightly line my top or lash line. Now that I have that black laid down, I'm going to go into Cypress Umbrus and I'm going to be taking this flat liner brush from MAC and this is the 212 and I'm just going to line over where I laid that black down. Alright, now that we have that done, I'm going to go ahead and just mimic everything on the lower lid. The lower lid. So I'm just going to take my Fisanti brush again and I'm going to dip into that warm taupe and just lay that down and bring that all the way in. And then I'm going to dip into Red Orchard, Love Letter, and Cypress Under. And then just lay that down and focus that more on the outer corner this time. Then I'm just going to go back to my flat liner brush and dip back into Cypress Umber. And then I'm just going to tight line my lower lash and bring that halfway. And then I'm just going to blend that in just a little bit. And then I'm going to go back to my Makeup Forever eyeliner, eyeliner pencil. And then I'm just going to line my waterline. Now that we have that done, I'm just going to go ahead and take my eyelash curler real quick and curl my top lash. And then I'm just going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and apply to the bottom as well. And then we're just going to apply some falsies and that is it for the eyes. I'm just going to do that in a second, but I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face real quick. And to bronze my face, I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. And I'm just going to be going in with these two shades right here. I'm just going to be taking my shade and light brush from Kat Von D. And I'm going to be taking the fluffy side. And I chose this e.l.f. one just to give us a more subtle look. A more subtle contour. And then I'm just going to go to my Kat Von D real quick. I'm going to be taking the shade Foreplay. I'm going to be taking the contour side of the brush and just slightly deepening the bottom of my contour. And then I'm just going to go in with my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. And this is in the shade Translucent Light. And I'm just going to clean the contour up a little bit. 
So now that we have our contour laid out, we're just going to go ahead and finish the lip. For the lips, I'm going to be using the NYX Liquid Suede, and this is in the shade Cherry Skies. And this is just like a nice, very deep crimson red. It's perfect for fall and for that vampire look uh -oh, we're going for. Alright, so I'm just going to pop on that last lash real quick and I'll be right back for you guys. Alright you guys, that is it for this Mystical Creatures collaboration. I know I have a horrible lisp, but it's okay. Really hope that you guys liked this Mystical Creatures collaboration. If so, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Ignore my horrible lisp, but don't forget to subscribe because I do post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday for you guys. Please be sure to click that subscribe button down below. I'm also doing a giveaway from my YouTube. We are a hundred subscribers away pretty much from my 1000 